I think one thing that's good to keep in mind when you are traveling to your mission, so when you're finally leaving the MTC, is to take, uh, and this applies, I guess, to any transfers, anytime you're using transportation on your mission, but to seek opportunities to serve and to share the gospel with other people. I know in my group, there's a little bit of hesitation when we got to the airport, you know, in Salt Lake City. Uh, everyone was kind of clumped together, you know, in their comfort zone. Uh, and maybe there was, you know, one or two of us who would kind of go out of our comfort zone and start trying to preach the gospel or, uh, I mean, in the Salt Lake City airport, I don't know, I'm guessing that more than half of the people there aren't members of the church because there's so many people from all around the world who come there uh, to catch another flight somewhere else. Um, anyway, that's, that's some advice I'd give for missionaries when you go to the airport. You know, it's okay to break away from the pack. You still have to say, you know, within sight and hearing of the missionaries. Um, but to go and talk with someone and try to share the gospel, maybe give them a pamphlet, maybe take down their number if they're willing to be visited by the missionaries where they're from. Uh, I think that's an important thing to do. Um, and yeah, I remember on, on my plane ride, let's see, our plane ride was about, I think, 10 hours to go to Buenos Aires. And then from there, we went to Neoken, another little plane ride. And on the plane, I remember there was the USA uh, women's gymnastics team on our plane. They were going to go to Buenos Aires for some sort of an event. And it just so happened that right in front of us or to the side of us, there was, uh, I forget which one. I, I had seen her on TV like a couple weeks before entering the MTC. She was a gymnast that did like all these tumbling backflip stuff and uh, I remember talking with her and trying to share the gospel I found out she was Baptist she seemed very nice very actively engaged in her in her church youth group and, and it was a very positive experience you know to find common ground and try to share the gospel um, and with the flight attendants you know I think I approached a couple of flight attendants and that was positive too you know just to you know share the gospel with them and um, Anyway, I would just encourage you to get out of your comfort zone when you're in the airport, especially that first day. Um, it's, I don't think anything bad's going to happen to you, you know. There's nothing to be afraid of, uh, and you'll only regret it if you don't do it. Um, but I don't think you'll ever regret, you know, getting out of your comfort zone and sharing the gospel with someone. And usually people are really fun to talk with. Um, I think another person I talked to in Salt Lake Airport was like, a, I can't remember... I think they were Muslim and they attended some sort of Muslim mosque or um, congregation in Salt Lake. And, and he said that he'd come to church, I think, uh, you know, just from an invitation. I don't know. I, I haven't seen him since, but I can only assume the best that he did. So anyway, just talk with people in the airport and throughout your mission when you are on transportation.